Hi. There are three questions to answer and explain. Firstly, what are strange particles? Why are they called strange? And where do they come from and where do they go? In the explanations, we'll use kaons as the examples. There are notes to support this video with a link top right of this page. I'll start with a simple statement and then explain. All strange particles contain a strange quark or a strange antiquark. They're called strange because they have surprisingly long lives, as much as 100,000 times as long as similar particles. And strange particles are always produced in pairs, which leads us to reason that they have a quality, which we now call strangeness, which is conserved at least some of the time. I said that all strange particles contain a strange quark. Quarks with leptons are the fundamental particles, which are fermions, which are the building blocks of the universe. Because strange particles contain quarks, they are hadrons. If they contain three quarks, they are baryons, and two, they are mesons. Strange quarks are similar to down quarks. They have a minus one-third charge, but they do have a greater mass. Amongst the first strange particles to be studied were kaons or k mesons. And these are the strange particles that are most often used in examination syllabi. Because they're called mesons, they must contain two quarks. They actually contain either an up or a down quark together with a strange quark. One of this pair is always an antiquark. That gives four possible structures, as you can see here. An up quark has a charge of plus two thirds and a down quark a minus a third, as has a strange quark. An anti-up will have a charge of minus two thirds as well. So the total charge on the first is a minus one. Using the same addition and reasoning, the charge on the second plus one. The final two both have zero charge, but they are opposites one another. The symbols are K0 and K0 bar. Strangeness is defined as the number of anti-strange quarks minus the number of strange quarks. So, looking at our four examples, the first has one strange quark, no anti-strange, so it's zero minus one, so it has a strange value of minus one. And taking again just the second, it has an anti-strange, so it's one minus zero, which is a strangeness of one. Kaons are produced in strong interactions or with the strong force in collisions between high energy particles. These collisions don't result in the production of one strange particle, but always two. In this production, strangeness is conserved. The decay is via the weak force or weak interaction. And although this happens in a minute fraction of time, it is relatively slow compared to other similar interactions. In this weak force decay, strangeness is generally not conserved. Kaons are produced by high energy collisions. For example, by cosmic rays striking the upper atmosphere or in a particle accelerator. This combination of pion and proton quickly disintegrate but via the strong force, producing two strange particles, a kaon and a sigma. Because the proton and pion were not strange, they contain no strange quarks. The total strangeness of the kaon and sigma together must also be zero, one containing a strange quark and one an anti-strange. All kaons are unstable. This cloud chamber image of the decay of an uncharged kaon produces the characteristic V-shaped track of two particles produced. Charge is conserved in this change in that two oppositely charged pions are produced, but neither contain a strange quark. Strangeness is not conserved, and this is because the decay was via the weak force or weak interaction. There are many processes of kaon decay, but all decay via the weak force, where strangeness is not conserved. 
These two Feynman diagrams show the decay of positively charged and negatively charged kaons, both resulting in the production of lepton pairs. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget there are notes available on the link to a website shown here. Thank you for watching.